the rule eight deals with the point which you already know. How when you score a point? Okay, rule eight um, is about the point. How do you score a point? Oh, I got the point. Okay, team member, number one, number two, number three. Okay, so we don't do the rule nine. Just simply state. How who will, who is recognized as the winner? This is a new rule, a new ah. edition. Ah, this is new rule. This is new rule. This is new rule. This is new rule. This is the So I mentioned about who starts the period is stated here. You already know how to start from the baseline entry pass, so it's okay. Just a quick one. Rule 11 talks about frame. You, you keep hearing the frame, right? So you just state clearly that if it hits the matter, then the referee will blow for frame mm -hmm. foul. Okay. And in all sports or all rules, the final rule governs everything. The final rule. <laughs> Wherever it's not clearly described on top, rule number 12 will always cover it. Mm. Okay, because it says that everyone must respect the spirit of the game defined in the charter and also demonstrate a respectful behavior. Okay. So if I have the ball, I I'm supposed to only pass to my team. If she from team B touches it, it's a foul. Right? So if I have the ball and I'm going to fall, if I drop the ball, who gets possession? Team B, right? But some like basketball sometimes before you fall outside, what do you do? You throw at the other team. You see? So here, if you fall and you throw and touches her, it's a foul to me. Foul ball back to my team, right? But is it respectful? So you might get a yellow card or warning. See, so we want to encourage sportsmanship, not gamesmanship. Uh, do you know the difference between sportsmanship and gamesmanship? Sportsmanship and uh, gamesmanship. Uh, sportsmanship and gamesmanship and It's a big difference. Sportsmanship means play to the very best of what we can respect each other. Gamesmanship means do whatever you can to gain an unfair advantage. Like in soccer, the defender just touch lightly, the attacker fly 5 meters, ah, try to get a penalty or get a red card for the player. In basketball, the dribbler just go past you, Belly touches you, but you fly back three meters. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so this game's mention, there's something that um, the spirit of Chukwa, the Chukwa Charter is trying to discourage. And let's yeah. play to the very best of our game. I share with you one story, a real story. Yeah. In 2007 November, we Singapore sent a team to Taiwan for the International Football Championship. Mm -hmm. Taiwan. Taiwan. Uh, 2007 November. That was just about one or two years after we had formed a, a Chukbol Federation and the first time in a tournament where we meet the Europeans. Wow, European. No, first time. Mm. 
이렇게 처음으로 그때 경기를 했었던 거였는데 아 유럽 사람들이 말씀을 경기할 때 다만 그래서 와 유럽 사람들이라 했었어요. There were two European teams, the Italian and a combined Europe team. 아 이탈리아. 아 combined Europe team. 아 이탈리아랑 이렇게 첫 인정하는 거예요. 네. Do you know how the Italian play when play against us and the other team? 거 거기서 이탈리아 사람들이 어떻게 게임을 하는지 아세요? When we shoot and then the 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 ball lands in the playing area, right near the line, but it lands in the playing area. It's a point to us. 공을 던졌을 때 다른 거기 닿으면은 저희들이 정수 네, 싱가포르 거기서 다 정수. The Italy is defending, okay? The referee see wrongly and he say no. Singapore give a point to Italy. It's a point to us, but the referee says. No, it lands in the forbidden zone. Singapore give a point to Italy. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't get it. Okay, no problem. The, the referee um, see wrongly. Um, the ball lands in the playing area. It's supposed to be one point for us. But the referee said no. Singapore give a point to Italy. Uh, the referee is very bad. So, the referee was in Singapore. The referee was in Singapore. But the referee was in Singapore. We score. The referee said no, no playing area. He said no playing area. He said no playing area. He said no playing area. So, a point to Italy. Guess what the Italian players do? Guess what? Guess what the Italian player? How do they react? 그래서 이제 점수를 일단은 그 이탈리아 사람한테 넘어갔는데, 근데? 아 그래서 이탈리아 사람들이 어떻게 반응을 했는지. Yes. 와 좋았죠. The score is much nicer. The point is to them, but they tell no. It's Singapore. Singapore get the point. 이탈리아 사람들이 아 아니라도 우리 게 아니라 싱가포르 거기 사람들 거라고 말했던. And they stop the play to say they they get the point. And then when Italy player they shoot, the ball lands in the forbidden zone. Point to Singapore. Okay, but the referee say point to Italy. They say no, no ref. They get the point. Let me ask you: In what sport do you see player exhibiting integrity and honesty to their disadvantage? Because they are trying to correct something to their disadvantage. 여기서 이런 경기를 보면서 우리들이 얼마나 정직성, 정직함과 서로에 대한 그런 존중이 얼마나 중요한지 깨닫게 되고. At the end of it, at the end of the competition, no one remember who exactly finished first, second, third. At the end of that competition, now if I think back four years ago, I can't quite remember who was first, second, third, fourth. 그때 우리들이 경기했던 걸 생각을 하면. But guess what I remember? What I take back from that competition now? Guess what I take back? 내가 그래서 그걸 못 기억하지만 이제 어떤 것을 기억할 수 있는지에 대해서 여러분 추측해 보세요. 내가 뭘 기억할까요, 여러분? My memory and my impression is how a team played in the sportsmanship way. Play with integrity. 제가 하나 기억할 수 있는 거는 그 팀에서 있었던 그 정직함과 자기들이 있는 거. 인테리티. 인테리티. 정직함과 협력 그런 것들이 저희 벽에 아주 강하게 남았습니다. See, it's like that. No, no matter if you try to win at all costs and you can be second, first or what, after years nobody quite remember. But it is the conduct, the way you play. That people remember. 그런 경기가 있고 나서 몇 년이 지난 다음에 누가 1등이었고 2등이었는지 아무도 기억을 잘 못할지도 모르겠지만 그 경기에 있었던 정직과 그 협력 팀간의 그런 협력 그런 거는 아주 기억에 많이 남게 됐어요. 좋습니다. 한 소절 드리겠습니다. 네, 다시. 소민 이제 왔습니다.